King Lear, which you've directed, ends with Lear saying, never, 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 never. And it seems that's finality. And then this writer goes on to a new genre. At the end of many tragedies that Shakespeare writes, there is some sense that a new order can begin. At the end of Lear, there is no such feeling. The gods have been appealed to countless times in countless awful situations. And in Lear, they never hear, they never respond, they never make anything better. So, where does a great writer go after that? It's almost astonishing that the next thing that he does is a play that has got um, a sort of fairy tale ingredient, a story that culminates in the kinds of coincidence or luck that you can only describe as miraculous. You said when you were talking he, that Shakespeare stumbles onto something new, um, that the bones of the play had existed in other artists who were perhaps experimenting. What is that something new for you that he, he, he stumbled onto? Returning to story theater, that ingredient that he described so extraordinarily in Henry V, mm. when the chorus says, it's not possible for us to do this without the involvement of the audience. We have to work on this together. And therefore, the chorus says, let us on your imaginary forces work. Mm. Think, when we talk of horses, you see them printing their proud hooves of the receiving earth. He, he says, we can do this together. Right. Now, the basis of Pericles is story theater. It's mm. somebody saying, hey, we're just a company of actors, right. and we're going to present this story to you. But if we work on this together, mm. ladies and gentlemen, we can, we can get somewhere with right. this. An event that is story theatre, but it involves all of those other disciplines of music and, and uh, instrumental music, singing, dance. Totally ideal, as far as Pericles is concerned, mm -hmm. is this space using the fullest thrust. promontory mm -hmm. thrust, but with the audience all around. and the audience all around becoming in some way part of the action. It isn't a play where we say, I'm going to sit back and observe. It's a play where, oh, wow, I'm in it. I'm, I'm being surrounded by it. I'm, I'm being um, addressed by it. I'm, I'm being urged by it. I'm being changed by it. Thank you. It's wonderful talking. It's just great talking. My absolute <laughs> pleasure. And um, now all we have to do is do it. <laughs> right.